M0 FXB. Just got my uh, Anytone 878 here. And we've got the cable connected to it. And we're going to read the code plug that's in the radio to my code plug on the computer. Assuming you've already downloaded the USB driver and the, the CPS program, which is this one here. So we'll just set the COM port, which I think is on there is three. <coughs> and then we're going to read. So go to the blue one. Read from radio. Um, you'll see the radio change. Now if you want to read all your contact lists that's in there, select this. But that takes a lot longer. So for now I'm just going to read everything else. Click OK. Now you can see it's gone to PC read. If there was um, an error, like a, a COM port error, then just go, if you're Windows 10, just click here, right click, and go to Device Manager. There you go. And um, and look for your in this section here. Look look for your COM port. So, for some reason we can't even see mine, but it must be there, because we just used it, and it worked. Uh, is it that one? There you go, GD32, Virtual Com Port Com3. <coughs> so, here's our code plug. It says read data complete. Now, the radio has booted up at its default screen and there's a way to select that and it's right now it's on talk group 91 I'll unplug this so you can hear it I mean when the radio is transmitting um, it won't actually accept uh, any traffic from the computer so I tend to move it away from the channel by going up up a couple just the little white line up and then up the zones and I go back down and I have a listen. So we'll leave that medium volume on talk group 91, which I highly recommend. So, just to let you know why it boots up where on those on, on the A band and the B band or sub band where where it did. So if you go to optional settings. Now, on the power on section, look, see the way I've, I'm able here to select default startup channel on, and then zone A, I've got my home hotspot, and I've told it to boot up to Pistar hotspot. Now, I can change that to talk, I've only got two talk groups in there, so I've changed that to 91 because that's what I prefer. And then so the top half is, is your zone. The, the channel A is your, the channels that are within that zone. And then you've got the sub band or the B band. And then I've got a zone that's called Southwest Analog, which is all my local repeaters. And then I've told it to go to GB3FI. There's some other ones there. So just remember that zones are groups of channels or groups of talk groups. I, I, I use the word channels because it could be an FM repeater, and that's not a talk group. So with the Anytone 878, you can have both. <clears throat> so then there's some GPS stuff, which I never do. So work mode we don't use. That's your Vox settings, which I don't use. No, sorry, alert tones. So that's different messages. You get like a tone at the end of a over and things like that, which I've left blank. Startup sound, I could do that just for fun. There you are, look, let's turn that on. Click OK. You do have to OK everything. And what I do, if I just to make sure I don't forget, I tend to just click Save here. Um, I can't remember if I've saved a file on this already, so well, I'll save it into a file called Anytone. So you've got display settings. Now in this, you can um, 
how long the display's on, your backlight, how bright it is. I've got it quite dim for the camera. Um, look at that, you can add a custom back picture in the background, which I've got at the moment. And look, here, here, you've got your colours. Um, and you can see what I've selected. In the 878, you get all that. CT, I haven't really done anything with that. Display, FM. You know, like, different choices there. I haven't done anything with GPS. Power save is off. VFO, you can set the, uh, you know, where you want it to scan from and finish. Auto repeater, it's all in there. With the, you know, you think the 878 is a DMR radio. It's actually a very good FM analog radio. And I'm just looking at these, but I'm pretty sure that the radio will do airband. See the frequencies there. Um, now the key functions, so PF1, PF2 and PF3 are the, um, the two buttons, the button, um, I'm pretty sure the, I need to look it up again, but the, the two buttons on the side and the, the blue button on the top or the red button, and then you can set different um, things to do with either a one push or a long push and it's all here the max volume one's quite handy because you're always having to go up and down on the volume I think scan if you're going to use FM and it will scan in FM and there tends to be a power changing one look there's a power one a VFO mode memory mode and you can change all this around to how you suits you auto repeat uh, Oh, they look like frequency step. I always like 6.25, to be honest. Um, squelch level, that. So if you want to do your squelch, go to other. That's actually set quite low, isn't it? Just do that about more like two, I would say. Two. Yeah, you can have a tone burst, which no one uses anymore. And then so your record settings. I never used the record function. Digital, digi monitor. Really, by default, it should be off, really. And then you turn it on when you want it. Volume audio. Okay, just a quick video there looking at the, um, the Anytone 878. Uh, please subscribe. Seven three.